Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. I'm coming to you today once again from the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. And I want to read from Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9 today, where the Bible says, and this is the Lord speaking to his people, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Now, when God gives a command, at the, out, of the, out of the mouth of God, the command is spoken, and with that comes the strength to carry out the command. And no matter what the, the enemy throws at us in the days that we're living in, we have the power to be strong and have good courage. We have the power to advance in the kingdom, in the earth, even in these days that we're living in right now. Somebody said the other day, well, it's not popular to be a Christian. And I got to thinking about that and I said, well, you know, it's not popular in hell to believe in Jesus Christ and to put all your faith in Jesus Christ. But in the heavenly kingdom that you and I are walking out every day of our lives and popularity doesn't even enter into it. We're pleasing the Lord just simply by seeking him learning of his ways and being a part of what he's doing in the earth in our generation have not i commanded thee now there with that is the power to do it be strong and of a good courage be not afraid neither be thou dismayed we don't we don't become disillusioned at what we see taking place in the earth around us today because god has given us the victory he's already put it out there that we are on the side of the overcomer and he's going to make that happen in your life and in mine because of the power of his word he's with us wherever we go if we go into the sick room god is there if we go into a place where we don't have enough finances to make ends meet god is with us there god is with us showing us ways out of that situation sometimes god's deliverance takes you through a situation and he teaches you and he shapes your life in those hard times that we face as a result of life. That's why David could say in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So here's David walking through a hard place, but God is there to comfort him. And David did not operate in fear. And that's what we must avoid too at all costs, especially in the times that we're living right now. Fear will cripple you. Fear will take the joy of the Lord. Fear will cause you to fall short of God's command, be strong and of good courage. In Psalm 34, 4, the Bible says this, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. That's my prayer for you today. If you're struggling with a fear in any particular area of life, God wants to deliver you from the fear. It didn't necessarily say he's going to deliver you from that circumstance right now. You're on the battleground for the Lord. You might have some territory to conquer yet, but he'll deliver you from the fear of being there. That is my hope for everyone who watches our videos. I just pray that God will use your life to bring him glory in the earth in 2021 and beyond. This is Brother Paxton saying, God.